if the the fundamental reasons for the growth of low fee private schools are firstly lack of access and secondly access to quality and if that trend is sustained what we're doing is we are losing the investment of private resources into public education in a meaningful way. In a place like Soweto, which is as a township vibrant and growing and developing and, and, and has just transformed amazingly, if we don't address the issue of the public schools being a source of pride in the community, I think that it is fundamentally undermining of development in Soweto. Firstly, I'm not certain that the low-fee private schools are offering quality education. No. I think quality education is a complex mix of a range of, of factors, and occasionally there's really charismatic characters who drive the low-fee um, private school with huge energy and enthusiasm and engender this um, um, belief and hope and, and, and faith. But often the context in which the schooling takes place is inappropriate for schooling. Very often there's not adequate um, recreation facilities, sports facilities. Often they're in crowded city centres. Often children are exposed to all kinds of um, negative influences in, a, in an urban environment that's, that's a city environment and often a decaying city environment. I think that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is from what I've seen of the available research, um, in order to keep the fees down, they are employing teachers who don't qualify to teach in, in public schools. Um, often those individuals may be people of, of huge commitment and making huge sacrifice, but that doesn't compensate for, for the level of qualification. So issues of how you keep the fees down and whether or not you've got qualified teachers. In contexts where the state is completely unable to provide the access that's necessary, it's better that people organize and create such schools. But it should be done in the context of civic mobilization to demand from the state what is just, which is access to education that's in fact biased towards the poor.